It is our second and final day here for Mad Skills Motocross 2 World Championship. The first of its kind for this game, a game with over 30 million downloads across both platforms. And now we have the top 12 in the world in the studio. And already some of them have already been pushed by the wayside. I'm your host, Alex Machine Richardson. And joining me on the sofa, we have got some delightful human beings. Joe, none other than Joe Mama So Fast. Good to have you back. And you're actually Thanks. representing today with the t-shirt. Yeah, I gotta show it off here. Where's mine? We'll get you one. I'm you have curious. to get a tattoo, actually. That's you have, what to, get told tattoo. Me. You have to get the tattoo first, but then, then you get, get the t-shirt. Yeah. That's, of course, Matt Cedekis joining me as well. The CS Brotherhood has made its way to Mad Skills. You're representing... The, I like the hoodie. I like this one. Thanks, bro. Just got the dark and dark Have you gone to see them? That's, that's actually a brand that's in... Uh, I haven't. I might. We'll see. Slacking. I might. We'll see. We'll see tonight. Maybe I'll go see them tonight. Okay. I'll go hang out with them. And one, of course, one of the players who we did wave goodbye to right at the end, the lower bracket champion for a very long period of time, Parker. Joining us on the on the couch. How you doing, bro? You ready? You ready to do, uh, help shed some light on some yeah. of these games? It's good to be here. Yeah, you've been on this couch a lot, but yeah. now you're actually Again. hanging out on the <laughs> yeah, couch. Hanging out. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be good. It's going to help. Hopefully, when we are in game, you can maybe spit some fire at the players that we're too scared of. They're all very intimidating over there. I wouldn't want to say anything nasty about them. Um, but we have. Don't to worry, I'll do that. You, Thank you. You can oh, be a good guy, the bad guy today. I'll go pick on them a little bit. As I, as I already highlighted, this was our second day. Uh, now that doesn't mean we have to reflect upon our first. Now, if I asked you to uh, reflect upon the day, what's a better way than actually running through all of the tracks and their top threes? This will help hopefully both identify some patterns and explain to you guys just how raunchy the competition has been. But we'll jump in with our very first map, and th this was Slip and Slide. Now, I mean, do you remember this one, Parker? You remember the uh, the way this one started out? Oh yeah, it's more of the the smoother flowing tracks, you know. And you had two options right here, and uh, the more stressful option you see the bounce out of the whoops down wow. the hill. But that overtake. <laughs> it's crazy when you get ten players on the screen like that. You can see the differences because only two of them did it, and look how far ahead they that are was, now. That was ZSC and Bragstad as well, the two that took it. And yeah. Parker, you actually narrowly missed out on top three. You yeah, were I, I fourth, finished I fourth on that track actually. And then on this track, how'd you do? Um, <laughs> <laughs> sudden death. <laughs> this was your, yeah, the bane of your life. Oh, yeah. Known as smooth sailing, track two. And there's a couple. I think this was the first one with the biggest line option. This was actually a close to 50 second track, so it was up among the longer. We only had, what, one yesterday that was two laps? Yeah, only one. So, one Got a couple now. more today that are two laps. Consistency oh, toward that seven. front. That black bike was pretty quick yesterday, early in the day. Black is six foot seven, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah that's correct. Representing New Zealand, the All Blacks. It's a good point, actually. I never put that connection together. Did you do that deliberately? He's gonna have to do a haka today before every track, I think. You can see right. there they took the Simon dude. I like it. Two different line options through the rollers. I swear I haven't seen six foot seven front tire touch on that way. There's where. That's actually such insane. a crazy finish right there. That is insane. I don't even know second. who was second. That was smooth third. sailing. So it, the, uh, the scoreboard for that one was ZSC first, six foot seven second. He was in the air. You couldn't actually see him. And Bragstad was third. Of course, Bragstad, that purple bike, keep an eye on him because he's going to be present in a lot of our top threes. Yeah, he was putting time. That was the cool thing about Bragstad as well. He was putting times in like the first 13 minutes, I think, most tracks. And then just um, chilling. Yeah, well, he was improving upon them, which showed consistency as well. But he was finding lines really early. Yeah. And usually had some creativity. He was really, really good at wheel control. I think just about every map he'd, or track, he'd have a wheelie for a decent amount of time through whoops or somewhere where everyone else was struggling. Probably yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Front tire didn't hit a single one of them. Or after. It still hasn't, has it? There we go. <laughs> let's give him a unicycle. But it, it was ridiculous how many times we'd, we'd watch a replay. But like, right, let's have a look at the, uh, how the top three are doing. And then it's just a purple bike. And we're just watching the purple bike for the last yeah. two minutes. There it is. That was Turn the Tables. This is Gold Rush. I remember that start on Gold Rush, Parker. I mean, you remember that one well. <laughs> yeah, uh, most people were just kind of wheel tapping it, but I was slowing down. Felt more comfortable doing that. We well, could see because you're the pink bike. We got, to, we got to know your bike. You actually were a lot slower because of slowing down, but you shot right back, back oh, by yeah. them all. Oh, yeah, my momentum was carried, yeah. And then the quad after these whoops rollers were pretty, is pretty gnarly right there. Three people I cleared that, that one. master at the front. Yeah, this was Master Dodd. When you see it that close, not quite dominating, but he was up to the front, I think, for most of it. Started slow, I think about 20 minutes in, we called him out, but then, yeah, he came on really strong and smooth at the end. Whoa. 
That's the closest we've seen people bike stay together for a while. This is the triple option right here, or double right here. Can't believe only two or three of you guys took the triple option. No one else was figuring that out. Again, that makes them front runners. That wheel Just control. Bragstad with that massive scrub right there. And this, yeah, this was the two lapper. This was the first two lapper. This one, interestingly enough, there's a, a bit of a different landing on the second lap, but it actually is pretty consistent in terms of line. There wasn't any major changes because of coming in at a different, different landing spot. Yeah, I think I think after watching the performance that Greg Set put in just about every single track yesterday, he's got to be got to be the favorite going MVP into of today. Day one. Yeah. yeah, easily. I mean, everything can change. You've been saying it all day yesterday. Wait yeah. until he gets to tomorrow. Wait until he yeah. gets to tomorrow. But yeah, he was pretty consistent. And this was where we lost you, Parker, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Final, <laughs> final run of the day. Jay Coop brought the heat. Yes, he this did. This was the infamous line option right here at the very end of this track. That's right, <laughs> which we were just relentlessly talking about to get the players kind of trapped in their minds and what, trying to just find it out, find that line. I cool. believe this is Ryan's track, Joe? Yes, it's Ryan. Yeah. Yep. He wrote me on Twitter right after I lost and said sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Saying not sorry. But think, and it was an unintentional line, wasn't it, from what we discussed? I, I think, think that's what Ryan had told me, that it was unintentional. We don't, we're not going to see it here because the front guys didn't do it. I, it's funny how every single person that I talked to after it said, oh, I thought you had to tap out of the whoops into that back side of that roller when it was way simpler than that. I think Ozzy was the only one that found it. Yep. And I actually think it saved Ozzy from getting knocked out of the main table yeah, I think because he right. still finished yep. fourth or fifth. <laughs> yeah, he finished fourth or fifth. But he actually found it. But he went yeah. up like three or four positions with, with that. Just from finding it. Like yeah. the rest of his run was abysmal. I'm pretty sure if, if we could see all ten on the screen the, the right. whole time, he'd be at the back right until the very end when he found it. Yeah. I do. I think I actually think you are right. Now, you talked about Bragstad and you talked about his run and how he has no, no doubt got himself a bit of an MVP slash uh, favorite oh. crown coming into to the second day. But we can actually take a closer look at the man behind the name that is Bragstad and his success so far here in Stockholm. So let's have a quick look at the Norwegian youngster. My name is Bragstad from Norway. I'm uh, 19 years old and I've been playing Mad Skills for almost three years. A friend of mine said uh, that Mad Skills Motocross 2 it was good and I tr just downloaded it and tried it. And at the beginning I just wanted to, to be uh, on the top of the leaderboards for Norway. And then I realized I could be in the top hundreds in, in the world and went on from there. I qualified uh, through regular jams at uh, the weekly jams in the game and uh, qualified uh, second behind set as a 743 sack. You got some uh, really fast guys there, um, like Master and all those other guys, super fast. It's crazy. My time in Sweden has been uh, good. I'm hoping for top five. And of course, I'm going for top three, but uh, yeah. Bregstad there, of course, getting to know a little bit more about him. And it, it, I was correct yesterday when I was trying to start that thread where I was talking about the fact that the two youngest players in the tournament came through the jams. And yet they were the two players that we, ZSE and Bregstad that we were claiming were finding the lines the quickest. Yeah. I mean, jams you get a week, right, Parker? So come into this in 50 minutes, it doesn't translate at all. Oh, definitely not. I mean, I mean, some of these guys, I think Zach waits until the last couple of days of jam to play. Oh, really? And he's still, he comes in and he finds the lines that fast. So, I mean, props to him. That Skill. is cool. <laughs> You wouldn't think, I mean, when you, like, we, we have relentlessly, Matt, myself, and, and Joe, have been talking always about this is 50 minutes, they're not used to this, they have to try and basically, I mean, you usually get a whole week and you'd see like, oh, oh, we'd shave three seconds off if they had a full jam, jam session, you know, like we've been saying that a lot, Matt, and it's actually. Yeah, and part of that too, I, we were saying as well, remember these guys are only seeing their own ghost when they're playing. Yeah. We were saying on a jam session, you can go, oh, this guy's first, let's go watch the line. Yeah. yeah. And then you can see it, which also helps. So there's, there's, there's it's no very secrets. different conditions, but you're <laughs> right. It's interesting that the two guys that came through that, that environment yeah. to qualify. Thriving. Yeah, they've been, I would say, more so breaks that in terms of finding early lines, but they've been consistent every single track. And, and ZSC is right there. I mm. think he was top three all but twice. Breaks that all but once. Like it's it's yeah, impressive it when you consider the skill that's here, how consistent they have been. Yeah, ZSC all but once. That's absolutely crazy to me. Breaks that 
all but once. Okay, so ZSC was all but once. I thought he was twice, so there you go. So they're both, in terms of top threes, consistent Crazy. brags is obviously yeah, more first place them. finishes. I will have this, thank you. I might make a paper airplane out of it. Do it. <laughs> if I could. Enjoy. And then I'll toss it over at them while they're playing. You see, oh, no mind. Well, I, was about, I was about to start talking on paper airplanes. We really shouldn't do that. I've got some different techniques. You can weight the nose. It's very exciting. Mm. You roll it backwards. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know. know. There's know. a new world championship right there. We should yeah, get exactly. on it. Frank Bite, let's make this happen. Canadian, um, Canadian aerospace technology is actually one of our, our only good things. Is so, it? Yeah. The UK. We made the Avro uh, Aero. Uh, we've got it's nothing. pretty dope. Yeah, we've got <laughs> We've got, we used to be quite powerful. Now we're just it's a little, little. Now you're just a little island that's not even part of the European yeah. Union. So it's yeah, fine. we are still for a little All bit. Right. Well, you got about a year and what three months left. I'm enjoying every second of it. Right, because I've just come over so to is your economy. To work. Right, we've got political. Let's get out of it. <laughs> Mexico's Motocross Two is about to continue with our second day of competition. But first, we're going to have to take a quick look at that track preview. The tracks get harder from here on in, right, Joe? They that's sure the words do. out of your mouth. So we can have a look at our first one. What's this one called? This one's called Stop, Drop, and Roll by Alan Benson. Uh, this will be the easiest track of the day. And it's it's a little easier than some of the tracks from yesterday as well. Ooh. We're going to start them off easy, give them a little warm up here. I think today, I'll just I'll say this once. And whoever picks up on it, picks up on it. The names are actually quite indicative of what to expect. Yep. But it's, uh, how many of these did you make today in, the, in these, these final six? I think three. Three okay. of the final six are by me, and they are brutal. All right. So, because so I, I was wondering how many people are going to hate you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure there'll the be a few. So. How yep. many Joe whoops are we going to get? And just to remind everyone of the format, too, it's the same as yesterday. We've got a knockout game to start things off on the table. Jay Cooper and Kudla that are going to be over there. Kudla, I'm always going to say it wrong. And then the same thing, knocking one out each time, but the finals are three instead of just the two. That, so that's going to be good. Gonna be, yeah, it's going to be a little <laughs> more exciting. It really is. So that time there, we can say that that time set by the uh, ace was 45 seconds. So That's we'll see. These guys will probably do 43s. I reckon 43s, yeah. I mean, Parker, without revealing too much to, uh, to the competitors, does that, does that track look like it's going to be a 43? Uh, I'd say that. Maybe 42s. Depends okay. on that... That line there. <laughs> that line, you uh, see? I saw a special line there, but Ooh. we'll see. Parker's identified a special line. Now, Yesterday, we drove them nuts by talking yeah, about the Yeah, we should never line. do so that. So we're not going to do it as much. They'll just have to find it now. <laughs> they, they literally were stir crazy. I thought they'd be, they'd be leaving in straight jackets after yeah. what we were doing to them for 50 minutes. But we should recap the format, Matt, just quickly for anyone that has not been watching the first day of broadcast. Yeah, so like I said, yesterday, basically, all the way through, you started off all 12, same track. Everyone's yeah. going nuts. Uh, Sully one actually was the first one to get knocked down. Slowest of each of the 12 over the 50 minutes gets knocked down. Then it was you in the next track, unfortunately. Then in round three we started because there's two in the lower bracket. The knockout matches, one versus one. Doesn't even matter if they're the two fastest times out of everyone that's left. If you're on the knockout table and you're second of the two of you, you're gone. And that's the way it continues today, right into the finals where we got three people left. So start out, like I said, we got Kudla and Jay Cooper on there, um, which Jay Cooper actually beat you out after you dominated the lower bracket for what, three rounds, four three rounds? Three rounds. Yeah, this guy was a survival, but uh, had to knock at some point. And then I think we're down to six, if I can count, on the main table, and that'll get down to five, fourth, and then the, the final three. Yeah. It'll get out of two at one point in time, but then the yeah. third will come back up through the lower bracket to join them. So it's going to yeah. be good. Yeah, exactly. It is going to be good. Now, I don't know how far away we are from starting. Normally, I get told. Um, I, I'm trying to work out whether... Have you got the starting flag? I feel like we've been waving the speech. Okay, hold Do on. Do you want to start them this time? I will, actually. I don't know if we're ready, though. When we, when we get the queue. When we get the queue. Yeah. I'm going to make a paper airplane in the meantime. Okay, you do that. You do that. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll rip out a sheet just so I can make one during the uh, 50 minutes. That's right, we're, we're preparing here. It's fine. Or, or if anyone can make a paper bike, that would be really impressive. Ooh. A little origami bike? Yeah, yeah origami man. bike. But the circles, circles and paper don't really, yeah. don't really mix. I'll work it out. Someone mm. made an origami jet ski once at my house. Gave it to my I don't dad. It's pretty to cool. To me, it floated until it got waterlogged, and then it sunk. <laughs> Didn't really work well, did it? <laughs> See, this is what you're talking about when you go backwards. On the front, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I'm. I, they can start anytime. I'm just. Don't look at me. I'm just making a paper airplane because I'm ADD. I, I don't even know if they're ready to start. Okay. I actually forget how to do this part. It's fine, guys. All get, right, boys. Get that off me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to go? Ready to go. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh. I do love those sound effects. <laughs> Where was the? I had no communication there. So we don't have our pink bike today in the lower bracket. You were pretty in pink, Parker, but it's actually going to be Kudla that starts out. He's in orange. And then if I remember correctly, Jay Cooper, what are you? You're green? Oh, 
green. So yeah, he's more, there's two green bikes. There's a light green and a dark green, but that'll you'll know which one's which pretty quickly. Let's see who completes a run first today. That's always interesting to me, yeah. So you actually have a 44.9 post-it. Was that the one we watched? That was the, the preview that we watched? It, it should have been the one we watched, correct. Okay. Because I thought you said 45, but I guess 44.9, you rounded up. You did that thing that math does. This paper plane's really hard, guys. I'm struggling. Looks very complex. I forget this. I forget the technique. There we go. Master 52 and Bragstad taking uh, first complete runs here. Not surprised to see Bragstad throw it in. No. None of these seem to be the marker at this point in time, but people are at least figuring that the whole run out. Yeah, did you kind of uh, think about the, the meta as such, Parker, for sorting out like the times? Did you just don't go really slow through the track to start things off to find lines? Or um, did you just pretty much just to keep hold down it? the gas and see what it gives you, right. see your slowdown points and potential lines. Okay. I'm still holding the top spot. We'll see how long that lasts. Give it five seconds. Ooh, Ooh. that's a big clearance. Stretched it. That's the hard part. It's is suddenly you're out of sync, yeah. It's a very serious feeling in here this morning. Of course it is. This is it. This is we're gonna be crowning a champion today. We've already got two guys passing my time, Master 52 and Jay Cooper. Interesting. And I would be curious to see the replay, to see the line they took early on, but I don't know. I, I, I think there's just like just to put it in perspective, those first couple of jumps even are just so long and stretched out that like you have to hit a rhythm pretty early on in this track. Yeah, those first two little, I guess we could call them doubles, little doubles, kind of with the Speed middle bumps, section, kind of, kind of drop down. For these guys, will be no problem, but for some of the beginner players or the you players at home, it? would be a little tricky. Here we go. All right, I think we'll spot a difference here right away. You can see uh, a guy in green clipped. Uh, Oh, you case both of them there. Oh, we didn't see a difference yet. Interesting. So and they're still smoking my time. Yeah, that's that's the interesting thing because it, they're they're that much smoother. Now this is where you and your preview said you had a lot of issues. Yeah, this back I, section. Yeah, this section right here I have trouble with. I I don't know the fastest line. These guys will figure it out though. Look at how good he is across Look those. Whoops. Front tire didn't hit any of them. All right, so we had two do the different line right oh, there. Oh, wow. So they're about, yeah. they're pretty close. Yeah. Which means there's two sections. There's two parts, two elements to this. Yeah. Well, I mean, more than that. We haven't seen as much yet. This is what I was going to say. We haven't seen as much yet from J. Coop. Was he the one that, that cased it twice at the start? No. That was a Kudler, I believe. Oh, was it a Kudler? Okay. No, it was a, it was a it was green, green bike. bike. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. It might There's two greens. So is one of the J. greens. Cooper, it's DJ Ozzy. D exactly. DJ Ozzy is the dark green. So. I've got a new leader already here. Damn. Still in the 44s, though. The young guys. It is the likely candidate, isn't it, at the top? Oh, DJ Ozzy claims we should refresh nah, it. Nah, DJ Ozzy, you can just... Uh, Focus more on what you're line. Yeah. <laughs> Jake Cooper right now, by the way, is in top three form at this point. But I think there's going to be a revelation at some point in time. Nobody's safe out here. No, none at all. I mean, when you consider, what, what do we got? We got eight players, riders going at it right now. It looks like Kudla hasn't even finished a run yet, so that's a little worrisome, I guess. Just working it out. It's getting used to that table, first off. Parker, you got any tips from over there? Like, the lighting um. needs to be changed at all? <laughs> get the airflow through the door better? Honestly, it's pretty good setup in here. I'm pretty comfortable. Apart from that chair, you were getting, you were getting some uh, achy back issues. Yeah, you got a stiff back. Stiff back. Those guys are living a life of luxury, I think. Oh, yeah, they got, the, they got the good chairs. They got the good chairs. <laughs> But do you feel like you could lean on the table, you know, get your elbows down a little better up there? 
Oh yeah, definitely. Take some, take some weight off. Take some stress off. Trying to get some serious hardcore analysis going. Yeah, on it's, it's all about seating position. I mean, honestly, it goes deeper. That's why I sit in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Glad the camera left just as I did that. I I see you avidly pushing the refresh button because we did spot something that has changed yeah. in terms of uh, meta or technique, and we're waiting to see if it's going to pay off. But and I feel like Cudlow's on the wrong track or something. Oh, I think he finally got a time in. Putting the pressure on him early. There he goes. He's Actually, he's up. quite close to the other player right across yeah. from him. Yeah, we got a good challenge here between the uh, elimination table. Less than a tenth a second apart, it looks like. Got a Kudla. new leader. Already, Bragg already got the hand sweating, Cudla. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bragstad's already bumped into first. Not surprised, am I? Like, What are we at, 13 minutes in, roughly? It's usually Not when he even. does it. We're, we're six minutes in, so he's early today. He got out of bed before everyone else. Not like me. <laughs> yeah, where were you this morning, Alex? I was really, really enjoying my bed. This is our head-to-head -head of our lower bracket game. Yeah, so it is Jay those. Cooper who cased both those. You're right. It was. That, they've... But, but then surely the rest of his run must be really solid to be posting a time that is, you know, competitive with Cudlow. They both have figured out Secret Section sauce. one, yeah. Ooh, that's, that's that, a big case. That looks like the line that I was having trouble with. I couldn't figure out. I think that's the quickest way. And he kissed both, both jumps at the start, which, and like we said, are head. hard for the average person, but they're not really. So he can easily tidy that up for sure. It'll be interesting to see what happens at the end there. Just gets thrown forward, clipping the back tire. I'm still not sure with the end. I don't it's know It's kind of interesting. It's like the track yesterday. I mean, you saw ZSC kill it. Yeah. So more there's and more. three players into the 43s already at this point in time. What if you think we'll see anyone bump into the 42s? That yeah. was my guess. <laughs> Who's saying yeah over there? Braxted? Confident. Braxted's calling it 42 for him. This is looking like a much better run from Jay Coop. He's got rid of both of those. Oh, no, oh, that's fine. Oh, that looked quite intentional. Problem is he lost a bit of the roll on the downhill. Mind refreshing? Uh, oh, ZSC oh, telling us Oh, we do refresh. have a new leader. Zach is bumped up into first place. And he's by far the closest to the 42 mark. Current top three, we got ZSC, six foot seven, and Bragstad. I like how they're all taking the challenge now whenever we th throw a time out. They're like, hang on, <laughs> just give me a minute. There's one player that I, uh, I haven't heard much from. All right, he's sitting in fifth spot. I was going to say, it's kind of quiet. We haven't talked about Master at this point in time. Oh, he's cooking something up. So when you consider right now the trend we had yesterday on the knockout table, they're the two on the bottom again. Yep. Yeah. And whether that's pressure or not, they are the two that sit down there. In terms of the main table, then the numbers you got to watch – Remember, there's only six on the main table. So right now it's between DJ, Ozzy, and... Oh, sorry. I have to refresh this. I think they showed a different one. So, yeah, it's between B. Cooper and G DJ, Ozzy right now. No. No, oh, Master, Master 52 is down there. Oh, he is too. You're right. So it's B. Cooper and Master. Fresh. <laughs> Constant refreshing. Oh, yeah. Look who's first now, B. Cooper. Wow. We from last to first. Started from the bottom. <laughs> now so that means uh, the Master 52 is on the chopping block right now. This is our current eight, current top eight. Look, look at how far back Jacob goes right off the start, just from casing those. Way. And none of those guys took Master, the Master 52 was way out in the lead in the beginning, and it's surprising that he's last right now. He's the, in the white on the bike. main table. No, red. Red. Master. Oh, he's red. That's right. Sorry, white bike is. Oh, B Cooper. B Coop. The man. The man, the myth. Anything but the legend. Have you even had a top three yet, Brett? Have you even had a top three yet? He'll yeah. be on the plane. Cool. That's a quick Not time. Not this time, though. It was Not a yet. solid time, though. Very interesting to see none oh. of the front guys took a line option. Yeah, Bragstead's already in the 42s, like he called it. How many minutes was that? Uh, we're at 40 minutes, so we're right at the 10-minute mark. Yep. So in the next three minutes, he'll beat that, and then he'll just walk out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Yeah, you might want to refresh. 
You guys are Everybody the refresh. is spamming the refresh. Wow, he, Branks said beat his time already. Four, yeah. 42.7. And ZSC made it into the 42s as well, but he's still just behind. They gave me tea and I burned my mouth, guys. I'm not going to talk anymore. Right. Head to head now is the two 42 second runs. So we're going to be seeing those two very quick times. It's currently ZSC and Bragstad. And it looks like we're going to be seeing quite a similar line at the moment. And I'm sure the viewers. Oh, so that's interesting. That, that, see that? I'd never seen that one before. That uh, might need a comparison, actually. Yeah. Because that changes the whole reason. The Those viewers at home know exactly what we're talking about because they would have seen it. That was sick. I like that. Just like we were talking yesterday, though, with these tracks, you know, the designers always have intentional lines, but they always, the players always surprise us and come out with something that we didn't even see, which is what they're doing here. But I mean, the fact that they both the do exactly the same. Wow, that's close. That's. I think the purple option was the quicker. Do you think that's the quickest overall? Uh, I think towards the end there, that the purple Toward option. Toward the end, yeah, for yeah. sure. But do you think the... I don't know. It would be interesting to see someone hit hit the other option. Yeah, now now we see that there's at least three options in that area. I'd be interested to see that. The th it's all about the rhythm at the top of the hill. Yeah, but it's just preparing yourself to get into that rhythm. Only time will tell, though. I'm talking of time. Speaking yeah, literally time will tell. It's like top three have I'm stayed the same. A, I'm waiting for a third to jump into 42s. So that's what I'm waiting for. But also yeah, at the bottom of the table. And <gasps> talking about the knockout Whoa. table, there's only one player left in the 44s right now. And uh, his name used to be Master 52, but we'll probably call it Last 52. Or, so. or uh, Last 44. <laughs> Shots are fine. <laughs> all right, all right. Everyone calm down. So we do actually have a change at the top, in the top three. There's now how many people in 42s? Four in the 42s. So how's your time holding up, Joe? Disaster yeah, 44, you know, my though. time so didn't so hold up. So we, we could put Joe's time next to Master's time. Ooh, that would be very interesting. That, I would love to see that. All right, let's see, if, let's see what this looks like. There you go. Joe, so why are you at the main table? Joe in black. I should be. This is, of course, uh, not, it would not win the competition, but it's part of the level design team. Yeah. Up against Master 52, because he had such a good start. This is what you were talking about, right? Yeah. So I see the option he's taking there. And it seems like it actually does hold. Because you Where never did, did catch lose? up. Yeah, I didn't. So that's oh. interesting. It looks like he's ahead of me by... 0.3, I think. Yeah, points about a half a second. So you probably won't see me catch up here. You can hear so you. I think that might prove the uh, faster option there. Yeah. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised to see them finding options already that we didn't even expect. Yeah. Or I should say you didn't even expect. I didn't expect. I have no expectations because I can't find anything. Alan other Benson than the designed one. this track, so I don't know. I'll have to ask him later if you he you really if, if he thought the guys were going to do that. But a lot of times we can't predict what these guys are going to do. Just like yesterday, but uh, the first be. track slip and slide yeah. when they were bouncing out of the whoops onto the table, that wasn't intentional. Yeah. And a lot of these guys were, were saying like, kind of wish that wasn't possible because that's a hard thing to pull off. Well, it's yeah. one of those things where you see it. And do you want to spend a lot of time trying to hit that, or do you want to lay down a consistent line? Right. Without it, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's the kind of thing that from a 50-minute competition for 20,000 and a jam session, you yeah. try it in the jam session, you, you don't want to try it in your 50 minutes, yeah. yeah. Trevor yeah. Shane's strategy really comes into today because it's all about do you want to just take the smooth line and mm -hmm. try to get a real consistent run or gamble it on the turkey section yeah. to try to get it perfect and well, waste I mean, all your time. We saw Parker fall into that trap yesterday, didn't you? Because you were you kept trying to get that start trying absolutely the, perfect. The tire over the jump, yeah. Disaster 52 did move forward <laughs> a little bit. He's into a 43.4, but he's still sitting bottom of that main group. It's, a, it's an appropriate name right now, I think. The knockout table still sitting seventh and eighth place. I think I, I think it's I mean you can talk. It's, I think it's, it's pressure something, over there. It's something about that table because me maybe and the Soli, phones are lagging because yeah. the cables that are into them for the stream. Sure. Time is don't, just elapsed. Don't, don't put those horrible hard drive excuses. <laughs> in does having mind. the cable plugged in does that affect how you play at all? Well, no. I play with a charger in sometimes, so okay. I'm used to it. But my game kept crashing because they were having to redo the, right. the plug. So I mean it's a little difference, but. No excuses, right? Yeah. The one thing I will give to, to Jay Cooper's credit right now is he's spending a lot of time trying to find different lines. So don't 
focus on his end game right now because if he does figure this out, if he does That's evaluate right. it, I mean, how much time we got left? He's still got like a good forty minutes. Yeah, still got 35, 34 yeah, 35 minutes. Okay. So for another, yeah, another like fourteen minutes or so, he can do line evaluation and then start trying to crank out the best run. The last, I would say, the last twenty minutes is crunch time. That's crunch. That's time. when you get into it. Ooh. Yes, he's trying to make to clear that, which yeah. is it's not surely not. If you could pull it off, I'd be interested. It just seems like a very hard thing to do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe you, you, you can't do possible. that. But the problem is, then once you get to the top, you're out of speed. Your momentum's gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the problem. Yeah. He, yeah, he's figuring it out though. What are you think evidence have been figuring out already? I don't know. The thing is, there's so many different li lines in this section. I mean, we've already seen a, one that I didn't see. So it'll be interesting to see what these oh. guys come up with. Uh, still just a little short. You know, that, that's something a little different than, than we've seen, too. But they, you can see, the, like it's you said, the momentum. Some frustration over there. How's this track compared to yesterday's? Shout out, Bensonator. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's in the uh, room. Be polite. <laughs> Alan's definitely uh, one of the senior track designers. He's been doing it the longest, him and I. Bragstad just goes faster and faster. He's down to 42.5. Should make him switch phones with someone else at some point today. See if he's... Make, make sure it's legit. Yeah. He's got cheat codes. He's got a Game Shark, I think. Game Shark. Oh, there's a, there's a throwback. <laughs> It's got the uh, super turbo scrub button on it, yeah. right? <laughs> Cuddles over there drying off his sweaty hands. <laughs> Were sweaty hands an, is an issue for you yesterday too, Cuddler? No, just, the, just at the table. Just, just at the elimination the table. table. Think yeah. it's the, yeah. Do you think Pressure's it's the nerves on. or what? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's I mean, I don't doubt it. Do you guys want to know who's in the it lead could, between it could you put two? Potentially more heat into the screen. The court could. That's that's a fair, fair, fair estimation. Do they want to know who's in the lead? How about we show them? Well, we can show the crowd anyway. Let's do it. Let's have a look at the top three. Let's have a little look at this the current top three standings. Let's see if the colors look familiar, and they do. Still got a Santa hat in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Keep that till July. Yeah. All okay, three so them. all three are taking this line. Is that DJ or is he? Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah, he's in second. Kid Canada. Captain somewhere, Canuck. somewhere here, DJ Ozzy's gonna Make sling some forward because he, you know he's in second, but he's off the screen currently. I think that may tell us a story or two about the end line. It could be. Could be on some. Yeah, because it ends right here. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, okay. So the guy who took the other option the dropped FC. back. Yeah. yeah. So I think that tells us which is faster. Yeah. But it's cool to see them all trying out all the different options. And still, we have that yet yeah, those in the top three, and it's the likely, likely or slash unlikely candidates, the young boys from the jam sessions that have actually managed to retain that top spot yet again. It's TCR domination again, too. That's true. So we still haven't decided what TCR stands for. <laughs> One of these guys. Hey, what's TCR stand for, guys? You guys joined a team. You don't even know what their keep mottos are. Keep it, keep it, family show. If it's if it's outrageous, don't say. The cool riders. The cool the riders. The cool riders. Nice. It's pretty lame, guys. <laughs> what was the other one? Bad badass pros or the bad bitches? Bad bitches. That's what it is. So Koopa Troopers going back to the back to his original experiment. Yeah. Surely that this solves the problem of momentum though, doing what Jay keeps doing now. That well, that's that was the the designed yeah. intention. I think you were saying, Joe. Yeah. But as we've seen, that's already been uh, adapted and and shuffled, evolved, evolved. That's the, exactly the word I was looking for. Thank you, English. I got you, babe. It's like you're from London or something. Do you even London, mate? Ooh. So it looks like uh, Master Fifty Two has moved himself out of the. Uh, the burns the kicker wow. seat. Wow, he's down to the 40. There's only one player on the main table not in the 42s. So in saying that, they should know who they are. It's surprising that he's the tallest player. <laughs> but he might have the shortest life on that table today. Seven out of five. Thanks. I rate great, mate. <laughs> 
crazy. Completely copying. Yeah, yeah listen, that's, that's always what something I find very appealing. When you have it go side by side and you see a good like five, ten seconds of them mirroring it ident like identically. I'd be interested to, to watch uh, Cuddler here for a little bit. Okay. Looks like he's. They are struggling to improve his time. Apart. Yeah, they're both super close to each other right here. Yeah. Oh. Watch the end of this run, then we'll jump in with Cuddler. Does the other line force you to case that wall? Or tire hop it, I guess it would I be? Think, yeah, I think it does it no matter what. Okay. I couldn't remember if we saw it in the top guys or not, because it seems... Like, it slows you up so much, but yet you do land in pretty well into the next roll. I like how weird just the sound is there today, trying to figure Sorry, out. Sorry, I'm literally, yeah, I'm entranced by this. It Maybe is a lot of fun watching, you know, just watching in on one guy, trying to... Trying to solve it. You know, f improve his time and... Feel That's like such a hard hit. Yeah. That was, that was nice. Yeah. This is the part that gave me troubles right here. Yeah, that case. Slammed between these two tires. So like we said, Jacob was doing some line evaluation. Seems like he gave up on the other line and went back to the... The OG. This, yeah. Yeah, the OG. See if we've got any changes here. Nope, looks like we're holding steady. Okay. Break oh, that. Where's that 41, bro? 41. Uh, you're, only, you're only half a second out. I believe the middle, the middle of the group's gonna do some switching here in a second, I believe. Break okay. calling a 42 2. That's what he thinks is the, the, the most possible time. Well, I mean, why don't, we, why, don't we, why don't we put up everyone, every single bike currently yeah, in the, the race, and let we get to see that side by side. That'd be fun to see all the options here right? in the middle. Yeah, this is where it should be fun. So we're probably only going to see like three bikes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why we need a wider camera angle, I think, to see that's true. everyone. Especially right here. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so there you go. Front one. Okay. Whoa. So, yeah, we do. We are having. That's the s slowest one. And that, and that yeah. shows why, too. It's hard to talk about this without talking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that. well, that's, that's the thing with them being in the room. We don't want to give too much away, but... It, you can see how much faster it is at the start, and therefore you're probably thinking, like, oh, yeah, that's great, but it costs you. And I was going to say of the top five guys, all of them went with one option. Yeah, the same option. Except for here at the end, slight change. The surprise option, the one that's surprising all the track designers, I think, is the one that's winning it. As, as it seems to be the case for quite yeah. often, actually. So these guys, I come in here trying to say there's some surprise line, but really they're surprising me with the yeah. line that... You know, they're yeah. not even taking the yeah. one I what wanted them to. What surprise is what yeah. they're saying, yeah. yeah. So. They find it fast as well. I mean, the, the, this was this was found, what, 15 minutes into the... I think even less, less than, than that. that. Yeah, yeah, they, they found that. The opening we five, were at 10, ten minutes. minutes. Brag that already had hit it. But it's funny because I heard some of them say, oh, I found the line. And then we were watching the replay. I'm like, no, you didn't. And then I realized, oh, quicker. you did find the line. And it's <laughs> yeah. faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jacob and Cuddler in the lower bracket. If you ever... Joined us and you're unfamiliar with what's going on here. Green and orange, the two bikes we'll be seeing here are the, the two representatives of the lower bracket. The loser of this will be eliminated from the final day. That's such a frustrating situation to get down in there correctly. And you guys feel a little fatigued from playing all day yesterday? Feeling fresh today. <clears throat> B. Cooper's holding strong with his mediocre performance. Am I really still? Yeah, you're good. You're safe, but, you know, no change from yesterday. You kind of just like to hang out under the radar. <laughs> In some ways, that's actually better. kind of true. true. Yeah. yeah. Normally, the, the complete opposite philosophy, but, yeah, I mean, all you have to do is survive until the end, and, and then you have to win. He's definitely committed to that now. It's just a matter of nailing it. I, he can definitely improve his time once he gets a clean run in. Yeah. 
Something like this. It's this middle section that's giving him trouble, I think. There's a 25 minute warning. Halfway through. You know, yesterday that, that sound bite didn't bother me that much, but today I'm not, I'm not feeling that one. <laughs> It's just so loud and obnoxious. It was louder yesterday. I was it? Yeah. Did yeah, it? Did well, it, I was sitting right beside it. So was it there was, any like time that it played and you weren't ready for it and it threw you off on a good run? Oh, 100 percent. Like that's you do and you like Anything, messed up. Just somebody walking around in the room will throw you off. Yeah. So what you're saying is I should go walk around all of them right now? Oh, 100 percent. Go hang out with them. Ask them what their favorite stuffed animal is. Do I hear a refresh over there? Took a oh, while. Oh, yeah, you did. You did bump up a few spots. Actually, you're all over Bragstad. Yeah. You are about a tenth of a second behind Bragstad. Jay Cooper does improve ever so slightly. Quick nice. shave. About bike length. All improvement. Good improvement on that table right now. Haven't taken a Kudla for a while because we need to do that. Yeah, can we look at Kudla? Oh, actually, look. Kudla improved his time, too. They definitely have. That table, man. No one's safe over there. So... Are we allowed to tell uh, who's in the lead here? Uh, uh, yeah, 23 minutes. Before 10 minutes. Does, that, does the bottom table want to know who's in the lead over there? No. All right, we'll keep it a secret. All right, yeah, Kudla, Kudla doesn't even care that we're talking. He's, He's so focused, he doesn't hear what's happening. zoned in right now. This was a great run right up until that section. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One word of approval. <laughs> He's trying to get that break on just to get the scrub, the scrub in. Would you consider this a little bit of a flaw then, Parker? Just, just we're seeing a lot of restarts right at the start here. Um, like I said, I mean we're around 20 minutes. That's crunch time, so. Stop putting up times. Pretty much. Okay. So you think at this point you just gotta take the line you've already figured take out. Take the just, line you're most comfortable with. Yeah, and just start. Instead of trying something new and. We got cousins over here telling secrets, you know. I'd be uh, be curious to see the top times right now. Yeah, the top too. three are all super close, so we, we should oh, if, wow. we, if we they see actually are very if we see close. a top, top three, three replay, would be very interesting. We'll probably be able to see all three bikes the whole run. Who's sitting bottom of the main right now? Uh, it's still six foot six seven. Six foot seven, yeah. I want to see a replay of those three top three bikes. Point two. Yeah, here we go. Here's, here we go. Top three. B Coop in white. ZSC blue. Frank said purple. So they're all taking the same option here. <laughs> and yeah, so they are, the, everyone wow. does. You have to hit that, even with the faster line. But they they put a nice little scrub over it. Clearing that is the tricky section. That's where Jay Cooper's having trouble, is clearing that little... But that looks so easy with this line. Look how close they are. And he, oh uh, yeah, back wheel gets that down. That wheel down yeah. faster. Oh yeah, and he just passed Wow, down. the difference. Yeah, very close. The top three are very close. So who, who's actually second out of that? That's B Cooper, B. I believe. B Cooper 10. And he was, <sighs> he's the white bike. So yeah, so that definitely confirms, because like, you can't see at the end. Yeah. So it's locked in. I like that we can't say that much, but we totally all know exactly what we're, what we're seeing over here. But the last two, five and six place, are just so close. Oddly oh. enough, it's the two people that started out on the main table yesterday. And I would say it's probably two of the favorites coming into this whole event. Yeah, battling for survival. I mean, getting to the lower bracket is all. Is, it seems like a bit of a death sentence in the tournament. Yeah. Here's, a, here's the real question, though. Who's got the better tattoos, B. Cooper or Jay Goodens? Ooh, I haven't seen Jay Gooden and his sleeve, full sleeve. They're both what? Done well. It's all that well. matters, right? Yeah. I'm going to drink some weird I don't Swedish have any tattoos, guys. Soda. Trocadero. I would, uh, I'd bleed to death if I got a tattoo. So it's true, actually, I would. Yeah? Yeah. I like platelets. It's truthfully, I could probably get away with it, but it's like a good excuse for me because I'm very indecisive. Yeah. So I would, I'd get one, and then a year later, be like, ah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I just, I let that be my good excuse. I can't commit to anything. <laughs> I told myself that if I couldn't keep a computer wallpaper, 
the same for a year. I couldn't get, get a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I think they're great. I think they're sick. I think the, I think there's, I've seen some very cool ones over the years. I just I mean, it's just art, basically. Yeah, like, exactly. I just I I'm the kind of guy that I change too much, too often. Too often. Thank you. Do you even London, mate? No, so. I, was, I was adding to it. You can say oh, okay. too much and too often. Yeah, that's okay. Fair enough. So this is the first time we've actually been spotting in with Kudla in a while. Kudla. It's good. it's good to actually catch up, see where, where his route's been taking him. It's fairly consistent, actually. There we go. Got to hit that. That was clean. This could be a little bit of an improvement if he gets the, if he gets the whoops right. So much It's going to be close. Yeah, right here. It's going to all come down right here. Ugh. That's... Oh, oh, nice. Oh, no, but because he, he had like a little... Yeah. A little bit Close. of a scrub on Not his original far off. run there. Not yeah. far off there. I mean, you say 20 minutes is crunch time. There's still a bit of time on that 19 minutes, so they've got they've got time to work with. I think Both the, of them over there cleaning off their hands. Yeah, they're feeling the pressure for sure. We need to get him some of those... Oh, we do have a change between those two. Really? There's, do we? One of them improved their time. Okay. Wow. Masters are experiencing some difficulties over there. Got some numbness in the butt. The uh, numb butt syndrome. Gotta take that wallet out of your pocket. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, it's probably pinching a nerve. So it's gonna say fat stacks he's got over there. It's all right though, he's about to get married. He'll lose all that money real fast. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. That actually works out because he stays a little lower in the air. But yeah, he's lost it there. Oh, he's catching him there, though. Nope, oh, he said no. That's Not enough. worth it. We're going to move on. Stop, drop, and roll. This is the track. That was a good stop, though. And a drop. And the drop. And he rolled. And then the roll, maybe a little later on. That's what I said. I think all the tracks today are. There's, there's hints. Maybe, maybe not one. There's one that maybe not, but most of them are hinted at. Yeah. In the name today. These mountains look great. I just there's even one named after my favorite song when I was in grade seven. <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Is there a Bobby World? Good today? there. A Barbie, Barbie World. Yeah. Don't see Bobby World in here. That's a huge improvement. Jay Cooper. Yep. <laughs> 42. That's, yeah, he's in the 42s. <laughs> wow. Excuse me. Big bump up there. Yeah, that's big. And then Cudler heard us say that and uh, I think let out a little uh, groan. A little profanity. Whimper. <coughs> oh, he's locked on I'm the screen. I'm not everyone online with my coffee today. Yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> Alex got me sick. Did I? Yeah, you did. I think we're spreading uh, with some sort sick of disease gaming? around. Yeah, more and more is good. Well, with with Jay Coop's new time, it'd be what it'd be interesting to put them side by side for the lower bracket. Time is of the essence, of course, as well for Cuddler to try and get the rebuttal. But we'll see where their differences are. Similar start, Ooh. very similar start. <coughs> there's, a, there's a difference. Momentum lost. Yeah, so it's all about just getting a smooth run at this point. I'm dying, guys. I'm not going to be able to talk. <coughs> this is the end for you, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a big, big improvement for him. Because remember, that was a tenth of a second between the two of them. Ooh. Still no change on that main table situation. Zero. Zero shift. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get a refresh here. What about now, if you know you're down toward... Yeah, the... Six foot struggling. What's going on over there, six foot? Not talking. Not talking. At this point, Parker, if if you know you're perhaps one of the people that's struggling, you know you're not up with you know the Bragg's dad and the B Coop right now. We talked about you finding the line you're comfortable with, but at some point you have to say, all right, I got to try something else. Yeah, at some point you have to start stressing a little bit, especially at the table. But overall, it's. Pressure, you gotta you gotta amount to it and you gotta overcome it. 
That's the thing is, even if he's last on the main table, he's not out. You know, he'll just yeah. go to elimination. And Definitely. Today, but don't say just don't, elimination. Yeah, yeah. I know. I don't know if I want to be there today. Whew. I know. The elimination table hasn't... But historically, the, they haven't been yeah. doing too hot. There are so. some yes. big names that are going to be on the elimination table today. That's, that's what's, true. That's what you've got to be cautious of. I mean, we've got, yeah. like, a lot of there are a lot of big names that are likely going to be falling into that. prediction? Bragg's dad's going to be there after this track. No way. <laughs> what, a, what about the cousin showdown over here? Well, that's B -Coop, B -Coop, well, I'd say it's going to happen unless, I mean, B Coop's time has just been looking very, <laughs> very good. Yeah, he looks solid right now. Yeah, exactly. That means survival. Oh. Much better start this time around. This is what Kudla was looking for before. Whether he can maintain that momentum. It's a different question altogether. Oh, he's already towards the end here. Oh, that's oh, so The different. problem is his, his previous finish was so solid. Oh, Ooh. that was close. That, that was could have nice. been like a tenth. His previous finish going up that was just so solid that yeah. he's really got to be in the lead by a decent amount on his ghost at the end there. Or just replicate it. Or replicate it, which I think is going to be tough. Keeping his wheel in sync with the ghost at this point. Ooh. There. Nice that could be... I think it's a little too oh, far. Too yeah. far forward. It's a little extended. Like what he's going for, though. So that's entirely deliberate, that. Yeah, he's trying to hang out that front wheel and scrub it on the brakes. That'll be better. That's lined up. Only just. He's got the momentum. Much better up to hell. Nice scrub. This is where you see if he can get any sort of distance between him and his ghost coming in towards those closing moments where we do just see that ghost just accelerate. I think right here. Hit it clean. This is, oh, oh man. He's lost it again. I think he's got it. Because he does case right here in the ghost. Boom, just a little. Oh. So tough. <sighs> That's so You're tough. You're right. He had an excellent finish. And the problem is for that, <laughs> if <laughs> it's so far into the run that he's got to commit that long yeah. into each yeah. time You're to right. realize You're if right. he's going to it It's costing him 40 seconds, 42 seconds each time. Yeah, because it was right at the start that he was... Yeah, you'd rather, so you'd rather try and perfect the start than the end if you've well, I mean, you had a good you one, I mean. perfect all of it. It's yeah, just an yeah, unfortunate yeah, situation where everything else is so... You know, he's able to replicate pretty much all of this perfectly. And then the an agonizing realization in the literally the last three feet that, oh, wait, it yeah. still wasn't good enough. So I'm one of those players that if I don't get a good start, I restart. I don't ever give it a chance to catch up. Yeah. But so you never know what can happen. Yeah. Well, in this one, for example. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't. I, I didn't think he was gonna like that scrub right there. Immediate restart. Eleven minutes. Well, twelve minutes if you include and the seconds. And this is the. This is that sweat time. This is where suddenly you sit there and go, "Oh crap!" On a cracker. Let's not forget, Cudlow was the underdog coming into this. He was actually thirteenth. Yeah. To qualify, one of the guys. Number. One of the guys couldn't come, so he, you know, he took the spot. Hey well, Parker, the number on his bike is that like an homage to you? I don't know. Is it a tribute for me getting pushed out? That's what I wonder. I think no. Or you know, you did so well defending yeah, with the one one one. He gave that much to me. <laughs> this is just a tribute. Didn't quite thing. scrub that the same. Oh. Still lots of time left here. That first little jump right here seems like a tr tricky to get over sometimes, you know? As someone who is not as skilled as you guys, yeah, it is. <laughs> I definitely struggle with that quite a bit. You guys make it look so, so fluid and smooth. That was a last minute change, I think, that we made when uh, Simon said the tracks need to be harder. Alan went in there and I think made that change to just be a little trickier. Ooh. Oh, we got a new leader. That's a big jump as yeah. well. Bragstead, Bragstead, you were you were saying you were going to get a 42-3, right? That was your no, guess earlier. No, I think earlier? it's a 42-2. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you should keep trying. Yeah, I know. I think we're past the point of telling leaders or anything, right? Yeah, I think I think we'll silence up. Actually, we have 29 seconds left, truthfully. So we're we haven't broken any rules, of which there are no rules, but yeah. you know. Some new line oh, options. he's going for a new line. Oh, the idea is there. It's 
It's just so exciting to watch, just right to see. I think he's. I think he's gonna figure this out. That looks pretty good. I said he was gonna figure it out on the 10-minute warning. So no more, no more clues or hints here. No, sir. Tough to bite my tongue, but it is, isn't it? If you ever wonder, if you're wondering why on broadcast we do sometimes just fall silent, yeah, this is of course. Oh, Ooh, that's always out. fun to watch. Yeah. I love the ragdoll effect when the, when the bike <laughs> the guy literally just... like springs out like a pogo But you're stick. the you're the sucker for that right, Parker. Yeah. Yeah. You watch the wipeouts. Definitely. That's me in this game. But you also, you do realize we have a full move now called pulling a Parker, which is when you ride that backflip and land it on the whoops. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yesterday. I was going in there full, full. Full force. But you, so, the amount of times you actually consistently land it and put a time up with that. I was amazed myself. Yeah. Yeah, it's kamikaze. Like, it's... Definitely. <laughs> do or die. Yeah. I mean, that's what that table's all about, is dangerous waters over there. It really is. Yes, indeed. And there I is blood in the water. Guys, just so you know. Yeah, I'm not going over there. Good thing everything's frozen around in Stockholm right now. Everything's locked sure, you're in. probably not used to the uh, the cold. This is this is part of the course for me. Oh, I'm used to the cold. I'm oh, from yeah. Chicago. Oh, Chicago, right? Yeah. For some reason, I was thinking you're. I'm sorry. Not as cold as you guys up in Canada, though. Yeah, yeah. East coast for sure. West coast is too bad. No, I was in Boston recently. That was chilly. Yeah. So I'm to clarify, Alex. I'm like north of Boston, basically. A colder version of Boston. Yeah. This is just a tree. Similar climate. They get a lot of the eastern seaboard winds as well. It was just windy and wet. Yeah. Wouldn't stay there for long. So this track is going to be the easiest of the day. The next track is going to really frustrate oh, some I people. Have I played the next track yet? Um, I don't think you have. Just looking at the, the Joe the times charging, on some so. of these maps. Yeah, the Joe times on some... My times on some of these are... Terrible, which oh. shows that is that the one that you showed me the replay? And this is the top three. Yeah, I think I think you showed it. To DJ me. DJ Ozzy said, make sure you you watch mine. So I mean, we'll keep our eyes on him. Oh, he's probably got some crazy scrub. DJ Ozzy is telling us to watch the end of his run. Well, currently he is side by well, side that, with Kooks and Bragstead. So keep an eye on the Santa hat at the end here, everybody. Oh, there, that's gonna scrub off some speed right there. Well, I guess you lose the momentum of it. Up. Oh. That is incredible, actually. I wonder if he's doing that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, oh. so he was referring to those two where he kind of does like a like a half backflip scrub yep. over those long jumps. Damn. Yep. Gave him some so some solid scrubbage. Sometimes those happen because these guys are always trying to land in a wheelie, and, you know, a wheelie goes faster. So what happens is they land in a wheelie, and they're trying to hold it. And then to you get come the up normal again. scrub, but sometimes they're too far into the wheelie, and it just times it perfectly to where they flip over backwards over the jump, and it, it kind of scrubs the same way. No complaints for him, though, as that's a 42.2. Question is, could he replicate that? Is that Ooh, a new, that's that's a new yeah. second place? Okay, so the top three have changed again. And it's the same two names that we have seen in, I mean, what, did you have Matt in your paper aeroplane? Yeah, it is the same. I think things. it was was it five of six tracks yesterday. Well, Alex, let me uh, let me find that out for you, shall I? Thank you, I One, appreciate two, that. One, two, three, four for ZSE, and one, two, three, four, five for Breakstad. Wow. Okay, six. So there you go. So it could I would be say coming into today, they're the two favorites. Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh, six minutes left. They're uh, they're looking more favorable than a few people. Over on that main. I mean, who is on the ropes? It's the the quiet New Zealander, right? I think so. Leave him alone. Stop picking on my friend. We'll find out. The lips are zipped. Yeah, we're getting into it now, and it's. I mean, it's definitely super close to the top, but there's a, it, there is still a bit of a spread toward the bottom there end is, of the timetable, yeah. yeah. which does tell me the line options are are catching some people out for sure. And I think when they see the end here, they're gonna go, oh. Yeah. One good Quite run there. Nice. And there was run. a couple of people we saw that came extremely close yeah. to finding it. It's just a question of uh, how that lower how lower bracket game is going to end. Of course, it was uh, Jay Coop versus Kudla. 
It'd be wise to put them up on screen, not just our faces sitting here staring at yeah. ourselves. I like it's, looking at your face. It's difficult to talk about the game when you're just looking at yourself, though, uh, increasingly so. I thought you were the game. I am the game. Don't hate the player. <laughs> yeah. I hate the game. No, lower bracket game's going on, but we'll just continue to... Uh, to hang out. Four minutes left. Four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. Well, four, four minutes, minutes and 49 seconds, to, yeah. be exact, to be exact. Because it's a 42 second track. That's an extra run. So there you go. Can either of these two guys improve their time? That is the question. In eyes with J-Cube currently. Kudla might be the second oldest here, I believe. Grandpa number two. Grandpa number two. Grandpa number one got knocked out first round. Technically third round. So that was the it's first true. elimination yeah. round. Get a map track off. He's looking for that momentum. Nice wheelie up the hill. He hasn't touched that top. Nice scrub him. there. Still got that lockout going. And his ghost run start, though, just seems so solid because he's still pretty far back. Where do you start? What did his ghost do? I mean, I'm trying to wait a second. I'll have to pay attention. That was nice. So it's right. Silence in Stockholm is the realization that the next four minutes will not only eliminate a player, but also put another in the lower bracket. It's interesting what he's trying there down the hill. Timing of the brakes is everything. Trying to get that front wheel up on that incline is hard. Everyone here today is riding on bike 11, which does have improved brakes over bike 10. So these guys had to get used to those those brakes because they've been Bam. riding bike 10 for you know months now. Yeah. How how fresh is 11? Um. Well, we released the original 11 over a month ago, it and then we we the released after the qualifier, I believe. Yeah, and then we released a revamped version of just we just tweaked the physics a tiny bit to make it a little better. In that, they've only probably had two weeks tops on. Oh, wow. Maybe even less. And you're talking about guys that have been playing this game for like three years. Yeah. That's I'm getting a brand a new bike before a tournament, yeah. yeah. But that just shows how easily these guys can adapt. I mean, they're all still crushing these times. Did the new bike throw you in a bit of a loop, Parker? Um, the first one was yeah. the first version of it, but this second version is smooth. Ooh. How do you feel about the whole shot device? The whole shot device is actually pretty cool. It adds that realism to, you know, like the, the real bikes and, you know. Yeah. It was cool to see like the real motocross guys out there that play the game, like uh, yeah, talking you know, about it. Yeah, say, yeah. oh, you guys put a whole shot device. That's so cool. And then the casual players who don't know much about motocross say the front suspension's broken. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah. I'm like, no, it's a feature. <laughs> it's a feature, guys. We promise. Not a bug, always a feature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Answer for everything. Valve seems to use that answer a lot. Yep. Oh, you can see through a smoke when you throw a nade on the other side. That's yeah, a feature. That's a feature, yeah, yeah. More investment. It's real life. I th I think he put in a new time. I oh, he did. I think these were flip-flopped. Yep. It means there's only one player left in the 43s. Someone just improved their time? Nice, solid. Is that, gonna be, is that the top spot back Ooh. for the Norwegian? No, that perhaps a, not. That was we'll a cool fall. I wish we could have played yeah, out the no, fall. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that would have worked? It had oh, 100%. Yeah. It's too far. Oh, it's such a tight, it's a tiny window of success. Yeah. Frank's dad did get his 42-2. How many? How much can time we, we talk, got? Can we talk about how close the front four are right now? Yeah, we What's can't. We can't drop names, but we can talk about. I can't uh, say who it is, but I think we're down to 28, 28 seconds. Twenty-eight. So the top four, final runs are done. The top four are point zero six apart right wow. now. Wow, that's Whew. ridiculous. So I think most of the phones are hitting the ground now. 
That is our top list. Six foot. Taking a peek at. Uh, th and that's that's what I thought he was gonna say. Six foot seven was as soon as he put his phone down, looking over at Bragstad, and went, "Are you serious? That's the line." I think yep. they're gonna realize, like you said, they're gonna go out and go, "Really? Like, how did I not see that?" But that's it. Time's up. That one is done. Our knockout table, close as ever, and by far the closest track overall. By the way, that is that was so very fun to watch. Close at the front. 42213, 42240, 42251, 42277. Wow. Nice Damn. job, Alan, on that track. That was a really fun one to watch. That to was see a good those one. Lines yeah. develop. This is destroying my ears. Yeah. So the players are just walking out now, and then we'll be able to talk more. Yes, we shall have a yeah, chat. Yeah, go watch the replays. Check out exactly the mistakes they made, or this is what's going to be so fun. Yeah. The mistakes they didn't make because they were all that close. Well, I mean, the fact that there is so little separating, what is it, the top four? Yeah, top four. Don't just scroll down. Just getting, yeah, I just yeah. want to peek myself. Getting to see that, getting to see that side by side is going to be interesting to see yeah, if we'll there is any deviation in the routes. We are getting our lower bracket players coming in to join us here on the Love Couch. How did you guys feel about that? Kudler, Jay Coop. It was pretty good. I mean, the track was pretty uh, basic, and the lines were cool. There was a good selection, and uh, you just had to figure out the right one and uh, put, out, put down your best. Yeah. Right. It was, I mean, basic. You, you did say that you don't yeah. think this was harder than the one that they, the, the, they ended on yesterday. Yeah, we thought this one was ranked like uh, second or third hardest out of all the tracks, and we were putting it the first one for okay. today. Just so it was a little warm up to get you guys, you know, back in the rhythm. Yeah. Do you think you found the right line? Uh, I had a pretty good time. I don't know where the other guys were making that half second, but I mean, I mean, I put it, I put it in a pretty good time. So. Yeah. How about you, Kudla? How's, how's, how was things for you on that track? You find, was, some, find it, problems? It was rough at first. I don't know if I was on the right line at the start. Uh. And then, uh, the last probably tw 15 minutes, I picked up a line that I think cut off about quarter, quarter to half a second. It did look like you got some improvements towards the right towards the end. I think the, the end, last uh, yeah, couple of minutes I got an yeah. attack. So. You guys flip-flopped a few times throughout the, throughout the track. So do you guys know who won? No. Oh, awesome. Well, we'll find that out after we take a look at the upper brackets and their results first. So the main table, the main six, we'll have a look at them. We'll see if you see any different changes in the lines as this is outside of the lower bracket, how things did shape up. Are oh, we going to see DJ Ozzy and his ridiculous uh, back flip yeah. scrubs? Yeah. Notice that just one person was breaking at the... Uh, yep, and that was six foot. And that was six foot. ended up at the bottom, and we heard him say at the end of it, oh, that's the line. As you guys are watching this, what do you think about the line they took? Grab the mic. the mic, yeah, sorry. I was trying that, that line in the beginning, going off, but I kept, I wasn't doing the slow down point they were doing. Wow, that was a nice scrub back to Jesus. Yeah, that, that one, him, this, this I think track, you're right. look how close this finishes. Oh, so oh, <laughs> man, all four of them just right there. Fantastic. Yeah, if you got the wrong bounce out of that whoop section and yeah. you hit the little hole before, you weren't making the finish. And, and that was what you were encountering. You yeah, had that. I had that a couple times. Well, I mean, I, I think we're just going to be queuing it up. I don't know how, how long away we are from seeing your run, but... Cudler, how did you feel about that line when you saw that? When you saw it, was that what you, you were thinking? You came super you close to finding it. That's the line I picked up at the end. So oh, okay. The yeah. last, just like I said, the last two minutes, I... I think I got it. Today. The last two. Damn. I don't know if you guys, got, did you, if you guys saw that, but well, no. we'll, we'll find we get out to if see we it. Yeah. See. I, mean, well, I, knew, I knew you were coming close to it because there was, we did watch you a couple times when you said, screw it, I'm not dropping down into the hole anymore. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you were still trying to hit the top of the hill, and then there was one run you didn't, and I don't know if you meant to or not, and I was like, oh, he's close. But we didn't want to say anything over here because it was like... Well, it's time away. to reveal who has been eliminated from the second day of our World Championship here as we jump into our lower bracket head-to-head. -head. Cuddler in orange and Jay Coop in green. See if they both went for that different start. We saw a lot of Jay Coop trying to get the start right. We did. And it is going to be two very different approaches. So there's the difference right there. Catching him on the incline, though. Ooh, that mm, scrub. Wow, it just knocks him forward. Jacob will take the lead for now. Such a close race between you two, though. I mean, the whole, the whole 50 minutes, you guys were back and forth the whole time. Still, like, I mean, not even a bike length at, the point, at times. Oh, this is going to be so close. This ending oh. could lose chasing. Oh. Oh, that is unreal.
Yeah. That was a great, great what a race love between you two. game. Damn. Yeah. That scrub saved you. It yeah. looked like that That's little nice scrub. Jay Coop. Coop takes it. We'll give you the mic just for a second, just to uh, clarify. What was that? Half a tire? It was at least half a bike. <laughs> half a bike. Okay. Most half a bike, I should say. Whew, yeah, okay. I should have I should have played with that line a little more. Yeah. I was trying in the beginning, but I wasn't slowing down right where they were. Because you did, you seemed quite insistent. Like I mean, it was like what we watched a good like twenty you, or thirty was, starts where you were just yeah. focusing on getting the uh, the break at the top of the first. Yeah, because yeah, you were trying to scrub the top perfectly with your breaking point, right. which was when you hit it, it was way faster. And then your ghost had that, and you could tell because you weren't catching your ghost at that point, but you were catching him at the end of the run. Yeah, I, I was even. Not even, I was doubling at the top, but I was jumping up the hill a little bit so I wouldn't have the momentum and I mm. would start wheeling. That's, but to be fair, that's what I think everyone did for the first 15 minutes. Right. So. That's why I gave up on that line. I didn't think it would work. And did in the end. If you do manage to survive in the lower bracket, you'll be defending that one. We'll get over to Kudla, though, because this is going to be your last uh, performance in the hot seat. Uh, damn you. You are my underdog. I chose you. You were the, you were the quiet, quiet, mysterious guy on that desk, and it does look like your journey ends here, but you, you had a good time? Yeah. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah? I'm glad I was able to put a few put a few good runs in. There, Absolutely. Just I mean, couldn't make it happen. This is, what is this, round seven? You made it to round seven as the underdog. Yeah. That's pretty solid, I think. I mean, if you look at the, the, the those that have fallen before you, like... And we wave goodbye to, you know, the likes of Jay Good and Sully Wan. We've seen these, these names go, Parker... Parker came in as a favorite, and you're already finishing above him. Yeah. Um, so congratulations for that. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you can, I mean, you can have some Swedish candy if you want to try. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to try these. These, these are really are good. Have some of these called pulled called Polly. JQ enjoy as well. Polly, I don't know what they're like marshmallow bits. I don't really know. I don't really know what they are, but they're delicious. Yeah. So you can Although have some Swedish I candy all, and chill. They get all over your pants pretty quickly. Yeah. I was really <laughs> clean this morning. The little residue of chocolate's all over me now. <laughs> chocolate residue. So I swear it's out chocolate, Alex. Calm down. Yeah. What do you think, JQ? I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Pollys. I'm trying to trying to convert people to them. And the Trocadero. Just go full Swedish. Yeah. What did you What did you think of the main table? What, I could see you cleaning off your hands a lot more today. True. Yeah. Yesterday, so I, I was my hands were sweaty yesterday, but it wasn't affecting my, the, the phone at all. Right. And today, about three quarters of the way through, almost every 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 lap, drying off. It would, the phone kind of would cut out a little bit, and hmm. I would lose control. So I'd have to pause or and dry my hands and then keep right. going. Well, that is wow. yeah, that's tough. Nerves. Still, pressure. Pressure oh. really was mounting. Bless, Bless you. you. Get that off well, the time, we can though. bring That's up the, the scoreboard because it is here, and you can see DJ Ozzy, DJ Ozzy rather, did take that top spot. Bragstad ZSC again in the top three. This is becoming a recurring trend. That's going to be six and five wow. times now, respectively. They've ended in the top three Crazy. across the two days. And of course, this is our first time. B Coop though, narrowly missing out on a top three finish, and this was a big change from him. He, he held the top three spot for a while, didn't he, Joe? Right? I mean, he was B yeah. Coop. I think he was holding second for a good a good period of that race. He was. But, but again. Like you said, if you're not last, you're first today. Yes, so indeed. B Coop and gets through. That's the big thing. It's going to be six foot seven going against you. Six foot seven versus J Coop. I mean, you, you got your eye on the New Zealander. He can see your name. It does feature a second time then in this elimination bracket. What do you think about six foot seven? You think he's a favorite for this? Or was it one of the big names of this tournament? Yeah, I'm actually surprised. Uh, he's a very good player. I play him all the time. And uh, usually he gets the better end of the stick. But Oof. we'll see. I mean... It's going to be a lot of pressure, but uh, should be good. The pressure is mounting, as I guess we should probably go ahead and catch our breath. You can go ahead and get some fresh air and maybe dry your hands a little bit because it is going to be time for our second game of our second day here at the World Championships for Mad Skills Motocross 2. We're going to be coming back, and Jay Coop is on the ropes with none other than six foot seven. The Tall Kiwi will be doing battle in that lower bracket on the main stage after this break. <laughs> 